Hi, I'm Lucy Cole, Diabetes Program Administrator from Medical Specialist Department of Endocrinology. And I'm here today to talk to you about carb counting. So why should we count carbs? Well, if you have diabetes, it's important to know carbs and to count carbs because the carbohydrate food groups break down to glucose or sugar. And so it's those food groups that are going to impact your blood sugar the most. Counting carbs also helps you to control portions, and controlling portions helps you to control calories. So if you're looking at trying to lose some weight, counting carbs is a way to do that. It's also an excellent tool for choosing nutrient-dense food, foods that are loaded with nutrition. So what are the different food groups? Well, that would be starches and grains, fruit, milk and yogurt, non-starchy vegetable, the other category which includes cakes, pies, candy, cookies, and protein which includes our animal food and fish, chicken, turkey, egg, cheese, and fats such as oils and margarines, um, salad dressing, olives, avocado. So what food groups are part of the carb family? Meaning which of the food groups would break down to glucose or sugar? And those food groups include starches and grains, fruit, milk, and yogurt, non-starchy vegetables, and that other group. So the food groups that would really uh, impact blood sugar the most include starches and grains, fruits, and milk and yogurt, and that other food group. Which food group then impacts the blood sugar the least? That would be those non-starchy vegetables. And those foods equal things like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms, tomatoes. So how do I count carbohydrates? Well, we say that one carb serving equals 15 grams of carb. So 15 is that reference number that stays the same, and it's the volume that changes to match the 15. It's recommended that women should eat about 45 grams of carb per meal, and the recommendation for men is 60 grams of carb per meal. So what would a meal look like for a woman if I wanted to spend 45 grams of carb at breakfast, say? Well, I could have a small banana about the size of a fist in length. I could have a slice of toast with some margarine on it, and I could have four ounces of juice. That would equal 45 grams of carb. For lunch, a burger on a small bun and 15 french fries is going to equal 45 grams of carb. We could pair that with some plain iced tea. Dinner for 60 grams of carb could equal a cup of pasta, a side salad, and eight ounces of milk. Those are some examples on how to spend your carbs per meal. So have some fun with carb counting. Just start doing it, looking at food, estimating the amount that it has, and learn portion control.